Muchas gracias. Que estés muy bien. Over 300 million tons of plastic is produced each year. With only a fraction of it being recycled, much of it ends up in landfills or polluting urban living environments, waterways, and oceans. In Colombia, tons of plastic waste is being diverted into the building blocks of a new environmental housing solution. Colombia's capital city of Bogota is home to 8 million people and it is estimated that 650 tons of plastic is thrown away every single day. I have come to meet Oscar Mendez, an architect and founder of a new enterprise for environmental change called Conceptos Plásticos. He has brought me to an informal housing settlement on the outskirts of town to show me firsthand the problems faced here and across Latin America. Lo que podemos ver aquí que o sea todo lo que todo lo que puedes ver es plástico y va a durar acá 400 o 500 años. 75% of plastic in packaging is single use. When you see all of this plastic on the ground, do you see potential? Yes, a lot of potential. We can transform all this plastic. In order for Oscar's enterprise to succeed though, he's going to need a lot of plastic. Small-scale informal recycling has been a long-standing trade in Colombia, with 40,000 trucks on the streets of Bogota collecting conventional reusable waste such as scrap metal and plastic bottles. So we're in a bodega right now where the recyclers come to bring their plastics and other recyclable products, and they weigh them here so that they can then be paid. Right now we're looking for Paulino. He's the lead recycler. He's organized all of the, the recyclers in this area. Over recent years, government support has allowed people like Paulino the opportunity to upscale and legitimize the industry, creating recycling centers like this one all over the city. Anterior, digamos, unos cinco años atrás, estaban organizados que comienzan a seguir reciclando por las calles, en carreticas, en zorros, estaban reciclando. The ongoing challenge for Paulino and his team is getting the word out. La fuente para nosotros son las casas. Sí, y comenzamos a incentivar a la gente desde ahí. La enseñamos, le explicamos. Siento que de pronto a veces nos hace falta como que le diera como un poquito más de como anuncios, como que sea, más de publicidad. Just, it's a way of annoying people until they recycle. <laughs> bueno, yo anteriormente era madre comunitaria, entonces ahí aprendimos. Esperamos que la ciudadanía tome más conciencia y comencemos todos a reciclar. Y queremos ayudar al medio ambiente. Eso es lo primero. Tratar de sacar el reciclaje, que no solamente sea basura, uh -huh. sí, que también tenga recuperación. Digamos, son los materiales que estamos sacando para conceptos plásticos. Conceptos plásticos es Oscar Mendez's new venture, which is making good use of this waste plastic. I head to the company headquarters to meet up with him again. Welcome to our factory, Conceptos Plásticos. Thank you. This is where we take all the plastic from Paulino and make the transformation. Over the past few years, Oscar and his team have been refining this waste to make durable building blocks. Different types of plastic are first ground separately. Household plastic waste, battery packaging, and electrical waste such as old computers and TVs. So if you can see, like this comes straight from the, the factory. Look, these haven't even been used. It's like a giant blender. What would happen to this packaging if you weren't recycling it? So all the packaging post-consumer, for sure, is going to landfill. Now we've got all the ingredients. Now the chef will go to work and put it together. He, he's the chef. Oh, he is. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not Oscar. This is the chef. <laughs> they won't show us exactly the proportions because it's a secret recipe. The ground plastics are mixed together, heated, and then compressed into brick-shaped molds. Tell me a little bit about the temperature. What, how hot are these plastics? We just get the melting point. Depends on the mix, depends on the plastic. It's going between 200 and 240 degrees. It is very important that the temperature is kept at melting point so as not to burn the plastic and release toxic gases. So let's check this out. Let's look at it. It looks like cement almost. 
Not as heavy, but it's sturdy. I wonder what that was. Yes. Or that, or that. Sometimes we have cell phones uh, numbers. We have a, a, a number five, one number four. So now that we have all of these bricks, what kind of uses do you have for them? Imagine wood, you can make the same thing with this kind of material. And where are these going? These bricks are going to Cali. And you will see what we're going to do with them. Recognized globally as the world capital for salsa dancing, the city of Cali, 400 kilometers west of Bogota, is one of great social divide, with 6% of the land area occupied by slums housing 40,000 people. Yo, esta es mi vida, vida complicada. Estamos en la imba, pero aquí no pasa nada. Estamos sobreviviendo a esta emboscada. Hoy estamos aquí, pero mañana esto se acaba. Oye, pa' mi gente de Cali. <laughs> We've come to Envallado, a neighborhood in the east of Cali, one of the city's Hola. most deprived areas. ¿Cómo se llama? Eufemia. Eufemia, esta es tu casa. Esta es de mí. Eufemia leads us upstairs to catch up with Oscar and his bricks. Wow, oh my goodness. The bricks we just saw in the factory, they're actually constructing into an, a house for someone who lives here in the community. Oscar, the last time I saw you, we were in Bogota at the plant. We were boobing these things. Now we're here and building. It's amazing. Tell me a little bit about what stage you're at. Right now, we are in the kitchen. Aha, where many meals will be cooked, I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> yes, this is the bathroom. Mm -hmm. This is the bedroom. This house cost $5,000 and has been microfinanced by the community for Eufemia, whose son lives in the apartment below. Pues, mi mamá aquí tenía una pieza, pues no estaba, no estaba en buenas condiciones. Ajá. Sí, ¿y qué tal de la construcción? Pues es fácil. ¿Cómo claro. es? Si usted gusta, sí. pega uno y yo soy facilito. Oh, bueno. It's literally like life-size Lego. Oscar's hope is that this project will generate interest in the community and encourage future collaborations. Mira, estamos construyendo una casa hecho de ladrillos que son hechos de plástico reciclado. De roca. Looks like rock to them. Eso con el megáfono y me, pues, me llamó la atención, me vine y aquí estoy. <laughs> para mí también yo necesito para mi tercer piso. <laughs> This I just can't get over. The holes for the electrical outlets and the plumbing. Wire the cable down in and they'll have electricity. So check it out. It's actually a room now. It's a kitchen. Este es un closet. He's telling me this is where the closet's going to be. La ca no, la cama va a ir aquí. With the television on top, if you can imagine it. So all we've got left is the roof and some doors. So we're pretty close. How much plastic is in this house? In this house, we use it five tons. Sin compactar ese plástico, pues llegar a ser más o menos del tamaño de un contenedor de 40 pies. Concepto. Muy bonito. Casa. Pero yo quería que ya de dos plásticos con una recoge. In just under two days, the house is almost complete. The plan is that a family of four will be able to put together their own home in less than five days. Sabemos lo que va a pasar acá en este barrio dentro de unos meses, entonces ese tipo de comentarios nos dan todavía más ánimo. Conceptos Plásticos have already helped to house 42 families displaced by conflict in the town of Guapi, recycling 120 tons of plastic in the process. Tell me a little bit about the magnitude of impact that this project can have. If we use just 2% of the waste plastic in the world, we can change the life of millions of people. We can finish the housing shortage in Latin America in just 10 years. That's an enormous number and a huge impact. We have to start. We have to start step by step.